out of that is the fruit of your relationship with God is shown in your relationship with man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. So if you see these uh, commandments 5 through 10 and you got somebody or you yourself are not following these commandments, then you got to go back and say, wait a minute. How's my relationship with God? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, like last week, we kind of put into mm -hmm. practice: uh, "Thou shalt not lie or bear false witness; thou shalt not uh, steal." And we were kind of going through those things because they kind of mm -hmm. work together with selfishness. And I thought we had a good conversation about, you know, that, and then dealing with the adultery for both the man and the woman. And then today, I think plugs along that same thing of selfishness and we'll show that the writer does a great job uh, this week with this lesson uh, number 12 uh, in uh, page 53. So if you remember, like I said, last week, we kind of started with adultery, mm -hmm. him and her. Mm -hmm. We did touch the uh, integrity check-in with stealing. We talked about the different types of theft, uh, employer theft, mm -hmm. taxes, and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about the cure. We hung out there because we had to remember that God is watching us mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. everything that we do. And um, the benefits of, of standing in uh, with integrity and your moral compass should have, there should be something that goes off in us right before we mm -hmm. get ready to do wrong. There should be something that say, hold up, this ain't right. Um, the relationship aspect we dealt with a little bit with lying. Um, we got towards the end there, so let's look at lying there. Um, Real moment. Go ahead. I ain't trying to interrupt you. And like we said, we, you were talking about the integrity thing. And when we talk about the integrity thing, it's basically take a, I mean, kind of take a perspective or picture of what this uh, postmodern era, the millennials, what do they think about integrity and what do integrity mean to them? And because you, we're dealing with, like I told you earlier, we're dealing with a different generation and they look at integrity as a different thing sometimes. But it's only one meaning, but I'm just saying it's on an individual thing with that generation, you know, because yes. their right is their right and their integrity. I don't think this is wrong, and I don't. I think this is right, and, you know, things of that nature. The, 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 the thing with integrity, um, and I think the, the position of a lot of millennials, yeah. um, I even talked to some that I know personally who are saved or who try to live right but don't think going to church every Sunday is necessary. Right, 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 and right. They don't think it diminishes any kind of integrity, and we've created a culture where uh, we used to say, "Don't straddle the fence." That's what the That's old church used yeah. to say. Yeah. But now, because of passivity, meaning we're we're pacifying yeah. everybody, right? You absolutely, know, they took, yeah, absolutely. Took your your your. Uh, Punishment of your children, everything yeah, is yeah. soft. Everything so now people play in the gray area. Right, absolutely. What used yeah. to be integrity, and then or let's say it like this: good, mm -hmm. evil, straddling the fence. So now you have integrity, high morals, high ethics. You know, had a standard, but now you have this gray area. Right, right, and. And personally, my perspective is we've had politics, lobbyists, people who are non-believers sharing ideals as it relates to humanity. Yeah. Yeah. And the acceptance of everything. Yeah. yeah. And so integrity now, although the definition hasn't changed, but right. the model of integrity suggests. As long as I just love everybody, accept everybody, you know, we kind of do uh, what we say, uh, God knows my heart. Right, mm -hmm. right. We start yeah. to, uh, yeah. Max Licato yeah. has a book, I can't think of the title of the book, but he dealt with with two types of people, the legalists and the rationalists. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And what you Net see now more 
is people who rationalize yep. their wrong and try to season it with a good theology. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <clears throat> um, or it's like saying, I'm going to allow this behavior to continue because this is a good member of the church and they give right, a lot of money. Right, right, we right. forego, if you will, integrity. Right? Um, but integrity is that thing to me that's innate. Yeah, I you either have it or yeah, you I don't. Understand. Yeah. yeah. Right? And you're not, integrity doesn't turn off. 